Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Gaming Stealth. Today I'll be covering why GTA 6 will be the greatest game ever. Let's get into the video. Number eight, better real estate system. As opposed to the GTA 5 online real estate system where players can openly buy any property they please, the GTA story mode real estate system was very disappointing to fans. Although the story mode had three different protagonists and there were certain missions set in their unique houses, there was still hope that the main story after play would be able to buy luxurious houses which was unfortunately not the case. The feature in GTA 6 would allow players to buy any property for sale and can have the option to live in it and customize to our best wishes. Number 7, Subtler Parody. Dan Hauser has his strengths as a writer, but when he goes for satire, particularly in GTA, he wields it like a sledgehammer. That isn't easy to say, that it isn't funny or effective, but it never fails to take me out of the game. Every commercial, billboard, ad, and product in GTA 5 is winking at the camera so hard that it might sprain something. Like a background gag in a Mel Brooks movie, whether it's Sprunk, Bleeder, Life Invader, or Taco Bomb, most of the businesses in GTA's war version of Americana are explicitly busting on themselves in their own ad copy. It's like they're trying to sell products via reverse psychology by claiming how dumb they are to their own prospective customers. Vangelical always sprung out at me in particular here as a jewelry store that explicitly advertises that it sells blood diamonds and has the tagline replacing charm since 1852. Making fun of everything it can reach is a proud, honorable GTA tradition, but it needs to be just a little more subtle than this to work as a part of what's ostensibly a pseudo-realistic tone. It's fine to have a game world where everyone in it is stupid, selfish, corrupt, psychotic, or all four at once. Number 6, Returning Characters Grand Theft Auto has a thing for returning characters, even if it's in small roles or brief throwaway lines. As such, many players expect GTA 6 to contain at least a few returning characters from major games. The difference between major character and brief aside or cameo, and we hope it's the latter. Leave the past in the past, but there's nothing wrong with a little peek back for nostalgia's sake. Number 5, Entirely First Person If you believe GTA will be fully compatible with virtual reality gaming, then it is not too far-fetched to believe that the game could be completely first person. After all, VR gaming is predicted to be able to play on it from that perspective. Like many entries on this list, if it were to come to pass, it could be quite divisive amongst the fans. Hopefully, just like GTA 5, FPS mode will be optional. Number 4, VR technology. It's certainly slow going, but the video game industry seems to be veering closer and closer towards full VR integration. Massive mainstream games like Skyrim have been given the VR treatment, and the PSVR looks to make virtual reality a more affordable and mainstream experience. It may be a big ask, but some people are asking that GTA 6 be made with full VR integration. It makes sense considering GTA 5 offered a first-person perspective for the first time in the series' history. Number 3, The 70s Fans have been clamoring for another Grand Theft Auto since the days of GTA 4. Both 4 and 5 were set in present day, and while those were definitely fun, they were missing that oomph. That sense of adventure and spectacle that the period games managed to procure. We miss games like London, Vice City, and San Andreas that offer different time periods, and we want the series to return to those roots. And how cool would that be, a game set in the 70s? Maybe the scuzzy treats of 70s New York City? Number 2 Cross-Platform Multiplayer An extremely intriguing concept that would have friends with different consoles salivating at the thought of it. This has happened with games in kind for Xbox and PC. But considering that Microsoft owns and develops Xbox, it's not hugely remarkable and actually makes sense. However, PlayStation and Xbox being very similar consoles with a lot of games in kind and an identical demographic being developed by rival companies would find it much more difficult to make it work. That said, if any game can make this happen, it'd be Grand Theft Auto 6. Number 1, Destructible Environments One of the many entries on this list would be seen as not essential and surplus to requirements, however there are a core of gamers out there that crave maximum realism in their video games. And besides, Destructible Environments do exist in games such as Crisis and Red Faction 2. One of the criticisms leveled in the series is a lack of interactive indoor environments, so if they increase those, this could be the logical step in immersion. If anything else, it gives gamers something else to complain about. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video. So long.